This is their everyday basic wheel bearing replacement, uh, but the only thing difference is it's going to be a Ford Focus. Uh, um, the issue with this is, again, is something simple, but my premise of doing this video is because of the differences in the wheel bearing. So there's one with the traction, like a ba basic ABS sensor on there, and then there's another wheel bearing that you purchase that has Parkinson's. And my thing is like, well, what the hell's the difference? I'm going to try to make this simple, basic, but um, I ain't got that much time to invest in it because I got other cars to work on. But uh, this wheel bearing is making a little noise, has a groaning noise coming on this side, especially while driving. Uh, when I get the wheel bearings off, I'll go into further detail. But as far as the replacement, we're just going to go over it real quick and I'll just save all the boring stuff at the end. Um, so I'm like I said, I'm trying to make this basic. Like I said, I got other stuff to work on. So... Uh, first off, we get this tire off and uh, go from there. The plan was to take this whole thing off as an assembly, but uh, pulling the mountain bracket and everything, but that's not going to fly. So I got to take the brakes off. And this is a uh, 7 Hex fit. mountain bracket off that's gonna be a 13 probably should have got a smaller 13 I got the bolts exposed uh, here. You, we can see the, the head of them. And we're going to go through the back of the, the spindle here and loosen up all four of these bolts. So then we'll be able to remove the hub assembly. So the back is going to be like an inverted bit. This is an inverted bit. It's a star bit. Uh, so it's a, this is an E16. I want to get me uh, necessary extensions. And first off, I want to go ahead and disconnect this ABS sensor in the back. Uh, I'll show you what that looks like after the fact because it's pretty cramped back here. I got all my bolts off here. I'm about to finally knock it off. Let me get my hammer. All right, finally got it off. Take a hammer to the back. So here we go. I got both of the wheel bearings here. Here's the uh, new one, of course, and here's the old one. The aftermarket, or I guess the variation of the uh, wheel bearings are going to come with a different type of speed sensor. So these both have 44 teeth on the inside from uh, the information I got from um, uh, O'Reilly's as far as the specifications go. So it's supposed to have 44 teeth inside. 
uh, same dimensions, bearings, everything. It's just the sensors are different. So uh, I got my fluke over here. I just want to do a quick resistance test and see if there's a differ in resistance because that's my only assumption that'll be different with the these two sensors so we got two okay so yeah all right so the new one is going to have uh 490 kilo ohms and the old one with the just the regular abs is going to be 2.27 as a mega ohms so what that means uh, obviously the only difference is is these two sensors and just from my just my conjecture here if you put one in over the other this is why I'm going to change those sensors from here to, to this one um, I'm pretty sure since the resistance value slows uh, voltage down like an impedance then I would assume that the signal or interpretations that the, the input is going to the computer is going to be different. So uh, I wouldn't mind seeing what happens if I leave it on here. However, I, I'm really pressed for time today. Um, I got to get some other jobs done with. But uh, I want to swap these out. This is $30 cheaper than just the regular ABS. So this one, the new one that I purchased is the wrong Baron. This is the one that has... Uh, park assist this one is just the regular abs so this card is supposed to have the regular black sensor on there versus the gray one which is going to be the park park aid so i'm going to swap these two sensors and being that the sensor wasn't bad on the old one i mean everything should work out perfectly fine all right so i got the Got the retaining bolts out and if we look at the sensors here they they look they look identical so I mean the connector is going to be the same length dimensions all that's going to be the same the distance they're going to be the same so the only thing difference is is the resistance value you know I mean I, I'm gonna put this little ring on there so I mean, if anything does happen, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm pretty sure this is voiding the warranty. But if anything does happen, I mean, I simply could just put the sensor back on there and, and send it back. But um, if you do have any issues, uh, keep your old sensor that goes to it, you know. But if the sensor does go bad, then obviously you have to get a new sensor. So I'm gonna put this in there. And uh, install everything in reverse order and check my numbers. New one installed. Got my new wheel hub there. And here's our old one. I'm going to pull up some live data and show you that there's no codes currently on the ABS. Um, I do have the sensor hooked up in the back, so that's, that's good. I'm going to put the wheel on, lower it, and uh, show you the codes and take it on a drive, show you the mileage, and uh, show you the current status of the ABS. So I just want to show you that uh, once I get the miles driven, I'm going to show you that uh, everything works with the alternative part that's $30 cheaper. You just got to use the other sensor. So let's get the... Make sure I pull up in the car. <coughs> so start up. Make sure there's no codes. So no ABS codes present so we're in I'm gonna go back out and go into ABS because I'm already in ABS I don't want to go back in there so we're gonna go to ABS here read codes we replace the rear right so if there's any issues discrepancies it'll show a rear right code Got to communicate him, and the car was off. So, okay, rear right speed sensor. All right. So that's likely because it was disconnected. So let's uh, 
clear that. All right, check the codes again. All right, no fault codes. I'm gonna go back out and back in just to prove that everything's fine. But at the same time, the uh, ABS only works uh, once you start backing up. Um, if it detects no feedback signal or some that, that resistance value that that sensor was showing, then it'll throw a code. So no fault codes, I'm gonna back up here. And I'm gonna pull forward. Gonna pull back into the garage to about five miles per hour. All right, pull back into the garage. All right, so we're gonna go back out, look for any codes. No fault codes. All right, so what mileage are we on right now? How do I work this device? Uh, we're at 67,990. I'm gonna drive five miles and uh, update shortly. So I got six miles on it now, and we'll go back and clear this out. Go back out to the ABS. So go back to the ABS, we're gonna check the codes. And dun, dun, dun. You know, whenever you get ready, you know, take your time. You know, I ain't got shit else to do. Okay, cool. So <clears throat> there's no codes present. So uh, you can buy the thirty dollar cheaper wheel bearing that goes to the park assist and swap out the. ABS sensor so there's no codes present uh, they look very similar they get the same signal the only difference is what's the resistance value uh, what I checked out so like I'm pretty sure under a scope and I like I said I wish I had more time I can actually set it up to you uh, to check that out but um, I'm pretty sure under a scope that that signal would have been altered uh, versus you know from the norm that's just my conjecture um, either that or the input to the computer could potentially vary, uh, which I'm pretty sure will alter the voltage reading. So I'm pretty sure as since the speed increases, this VR sensor generates its own signal. That voltage that it picks up based on the computer's ability to, to interpret that into a speed can vary so i'm pretty sure say for example if with the resistance on there that's the norm but if the resistance changed the speed would be less or more based on the ability to pick up a signal so that's just my assumption but um like i said hey you know if in, you know anything go wrong you know the world full of infinite possibilities hit that subscribe link stay informed have the reassurance of my work and uh it's on to the next one